Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Mark Lee. I'm a professor and associate dean of Ted Rogers School of Management, Toronto Metropolitan University. This is a lightning talk. That means I only have about five minutes to give you maybe one takeaway from my message. And I like to dig into my past a little bit here. So back in the days, I used to MC for some weddings. So my friends would invite me to be an MC, participate, and sort of give, you know, give little surprises for their wedding. And I recall this one time at this one wedding where my friends decided to do something unique. Whereas, you know, one of the weddings are supposed to be the celebration of love and this momentous occasion, but there are some pain points that come with weddings. And if you've been participating or if you have been involved in one, you know, assigned seats are one of the most excruciating tasks to do. How do you put Uncle Jack and Cousin Vicky in the same table? And how do you, where do you put your work colleagues and where do you put your best friends? So my friends decided that they were going to do something quite unique. And what they did was that they decided not to have assigned seating. And something miraculous happened. Without assigned seating, that means the groomsmen, the bridesmaids did not have special seats. That also meant that the parents did not have any special seats. It means that the work colleagues could have the front row seat if they wanted, just as there are no kids tables in the back. And what happened was that as soon as people walked in, while they were sort of confused, they decided to take their seats. Yes, some sat with their couples and plus ones, some sat with their friends, but all the groomsmen and the bridesmaid and everyone else was spread out. And what ended up happening was this diverse mix where everybody had an opportunity to sit anywhere that they chose. That there was no privileged tables. There was no tables reserved. There was no everybody, there was no acquaintance that had to sit in the back because at the end of the day, every single individual that came to that wedding had a specific purpose in mind, which was to celebrate the joyous occasion of the wedding itself. And as organizations and as university, we have to think about how do we give seats to everybody that walks in to your company, walks in to the lecture hall. And at Ted Rogers School of Management, we focus on this idea of care. And that is, we want to celebrate, advocate, reciprocate, and educate. And these four words are so critical to the ideology of what we represent. And if we're looking at what's academics, uh, academia's contribution to equity, diversity, inclusion, and accessibility is that we want to be able to recognize that the leaders of tomorrow, that you have a seat at the table, at any table that you choose, that there are no barriers just because you happen to be the best friend of the bride. You happen to be a kid, so you don't have to sit in the back. Every individual has a seat at the table. And that's what we are training our students to believe in so that the next leaders of our generation know that they can have the opportunity to be at the front table, that there are no barriers or obstacles in mind. So as you walk away, that's my one takeaway message for today is that we, as we think about inclusion, let's celebrate, let's advocate, and let's reciprocate and let's educate and let's make sure that I, myself, the people around us and all the new emerging leaders walking into the stage know that there is a seat at the table because ultimately, because we care. Thank you so much.